Hi, I'm Carl, and today I'm going to make um, homemade percussion caps. And um, I'm going to show you how to do it. I got this kit from a company called Sharp Shooter 22, and it comes with the Primal priming compound that you mix up right here, and then you punch out caps using soda pop uh, cans. So let's get started, and I'll show you how I do this. First you take your soda pop uh, can, cut a piece of it out. The directions say to use the painted side up or the printed side up. And you just stick it in like this. And it should punch out pretty easy. And then just turn upside down. And there's your percussion cap. So that's pretty easily made. I already have some made up here. And um, now we'll get started on the Primal priming compound. It comes with a, with a dipper. It has a, a large dipper and a small dipper. And then I have the instructions. And it says to start out, it says, uh, Two large scoops of bag marked L2. So this is L2. So we'll go the large side and one. Two. Next it says one large scoop from bag marked L. So the large side here. One large scoop. Next, one small scoop from each bag marked S. So now we're going to go to the small scooper and he gets a scoop of each marked S. Okay, next it says to take your scooper and mix it up really good here. Looks like it's mixed up pretty good, safely done. Now with your caps that you've already punched out, what I do is, oops, I have a board that I, I drilled little, little indents on it to put these on so they don't flip over and stuff. Then I take the part of the packaging here that, that came with it and what I do, I take my mixture 
and I just pour a little bit, dump a little bit on um, on here, and then um, you want to fill up each cap about a quarter full. Then if it goes over a little quarter, they still work. Floppy there. Oh, that one was good. Oops. Not perfect, but Get this out of the way. And then um, you'll want to get um, your acetone. Now the acetone you can get at it's fingernail polish remover, as long as it says 100% acetone. You can get it at the 99 cent store, Dollar General, Walmart. They all sell it. I got mine in a little jar that has a little dripper, and you want to maybe one or two drops of acetone yeah about two drops in each and if you go a little bit more it doesn't matter it's gonna dry then after you get this done the directions say to wait 24 hours so these have to wait 24 hours but I've already got some I made the other day that I made that are already dry so what we'll do we'll just take one that I've already made to show you how they work and um, we'll see how the cap works on this right here it's cap cocked and ready and it should go off okay and there you go and there's the spent spent cap uh, they work I've I started making these probably about two years ago I scared my dog <laughs> it's okay it's okay anyways <laughs> no pause. Alright, sorry about that. I forgot my dog was in here and the cat going off scared him. But anyways, I've been making these for about two years now and I've had, they fit on my number 10 nipples and number 11 nipples in my percussion revolvers. I don't have any cap jams with them. They're strong and sturdy. They all go off. If you store them, I put a little bit of cotton in the bottle so they don't shake around so that the primal, priming compound doesn't fall out. Another thing that I I, I do after they dry for 24 hours, I've taken um, a little light coat of hairspray on it too to kind of keep the, the compound inside the percussion cap. Other than that, they work great and um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and this may be something you want to do.